Hi guys, this is me Sagar from SG Under Creation and this is the follow-up tutorial series Zombie Shooter Game and uh, into the last part we just pick set up pickups so we can pick our guns from ground and uh, into this part we are going to make a dynamic pickup system so I just import some gun images so I made this on you know Photoshop and uh, I think you all all have these kind of images or you can google it okay so I just import some gun image and uh, what I'm going to do is just right click and make one folder game UI so this folder for our UI all UI in game so we put all UI into here so right click make one folder pick up sorry pick up UI name open this and after the, the this we just need to make one widget blueprint name it pick up mm -hmm. pick up widget blueprint WB okay after that save open this and we need custom we need custom yes name uh, width is 200 and height is leave it 100 for now and delete this canvas and first we need a uh, overlay and after that we need one vertical box and into just horizontal alignment fill and fill okay after that we just need horizontal we need two box of horizontal one also throw all into vertical box so just use fill and fill okay after that we just need a text throw on this horizontal box and you can just type item type item only and uh, if you want you can leave this auto okay and uh, this needs to be center or leave this as auto also click on horizontal walk and leave auto okay after that uh, we need one image into this box image here and uh, center center and also in center center like this it will automatically uh, you know auto size automatically sized according to image okay after that just go into here and make one two variables item info make this text and other one is item image item image and this is texture 2d type 2d texture here we need a object reference 
so compile and save that's it for here and after that we just open this uh, weapon BP and open this master weapon BP after we set it over here visibility when our player overlap that pickup first of all go into widget and by default I think it is set to uh, visible by default uh, I just untick this just untick this we don't want to show widget always whenever we play over left then we need to show this widget and when and over left we just unset visibility of widget so by default set hidden okay and after that just click on this widget and we just need to select our new widget which we make pick up phoebe everything we do on master must bpm master uh, you know all the child also get that widget so all the code we do into mother child also get it so this is the parents kind of class so just take this and you get user widget object and we need to cast our cast pickup bp and convert to pure and just simple straight in connection then we need to set item info and set item image do like this okay and now we use this info get weapon info just break weapon info and we need first of all we need a name this okay first plug this right now and un unplug this again what I do is append A is the name and uh, put one space then this press caps F space again bracket close and plug this into here so it will automatically get the name of that weapon okay and after that we need image just just plug this right okay uh, and hide all so our widget is set dynamically so you just need to set name and image into your child bps open akm AK47 just find AK uh, I think it is AK47 yeah AK47 image compile save and this is the name we already set it over here and M416 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 image and if you put Uzi <coughs> sorry you see okay <coughs> <coughs> sorry I just put this Susie here so right now we just need to test did you see nothing is happen why why it's not happen okay 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 because uh, we don't use the those things into here we need to bind with bind with the item info and bind with the image item image if you forget this this will happen so now oh man 
image is really so big we just need to make it something small so right click and make it size box okay after size box we just go like this and just put 100 by 70 or 150 by 60 it's a depend on your image my image is really big so I just wrap this into size box so it won't jump from UI so yeah okay now it's you can see dynamically set Uzi images all all thing looks good so I just crank this size one six no 160 sorry 160 is okay but 65 is okay I think and just yeah it's look better but now you get this problem okay so now you equip but your widget pops up because it is spawn by default and if you want to see this just click on this spear and hidden in game so when you try to check you when you try to pick this did you see the spear collide with this guy so I set it the code we set it the code over here when our player overlap do this do this do this all function so so what we are going to do to close all this shit so right click we need one uh, custom event clear clear all so just take this spear destroy component we don't need this when we pick it okay unhide this set visibility you know set visibility we need to off and if you want you just also un set this pick false but this won't work when we destroy this sphere so it will always return to false because by default it is set to false for just putting this no problem so now nothing will happen because we don't fire this custom event so when we pick this item you know spawn on the back after this we need to call this clear all function event event is also kind of a function so call this over here after we then we destroy this item ground ground item okay so now you will see the spear will destroy it yeah yes okay guys thank you so i wrap this video i will continue this into next part okay bye bye see you guys and one more thing please subscribe uh, my channel if you are new and uh, you should join my unreal master academy so there is a lot of people great peoples who use unreal and they are also good on unreal so you can ask them for help or you can team up with some if you find some guy over there so you have to join my page also so thank you guys bye bye see you